Hi guys, welcome to another episode of TG Art Food Club. As I mentioned in the fifth episode, my Photoshop CS5 is corrupted, that's why we used MS Paint. So I called for help, my sister who is in IT profession and also plays as an official technical support in the family. She helped me uninstall it, then we installed a more updated version which is Photoshop CC 2019. So I'm so excited having this upgrade and I'm still adjusting because some of the hotkeys are changed but that doesn't matter. So for this episode, I'm gonna show you my first attempt to draw or digitally paint a baked salmon or it can also be a pan-seared salmon since I'm not really cooking it with lemon and buttercream sauce. Let's begin! So for this project, as usual, I used the hard edge brush with pressure. This brush appears only if you're using a pen tablet. I'm using a Huion pen tablet HS64. This is my first pen tablet and I have no complaint about it so far. First, we will draw the cut of our salmon. Then we add the base color of our salmon and also our buttercream sauce. Okay, so a fish meat, like any other meat, is divided in sections. We're gonna use at least two shades of orange in the meat so it can look more realistic. And also to the sauce, now we can add some over here so it would look like it really dripped on the plate. So here we need to make sure that the sauce really looks like we pour it over our salmon. As I mentioned before, I put the dark shade first then I go lighter and lighter. Thank you. 
So look guys, we can almost see our baked salmon here. We can define it more with highlights and a few burns here. We are going to put a few burns because I think a little bit of imperfections can make our salmon more realistic. Guys, putting highlight can add beauty and life to an artwork, but we should be careful not to get carried away. Only put subtle highlights. Now we put some greens for herbs. It could be rosemary or thyme. This could add some color because our salmon is a bit monotonic or monochromatic. Over here, we're gonna add a slice of lemon. Hmm, I think it's too small, but sizes varies in real life, so I think this will do. It could be that our salmon is too big. Now I'm gonna add some shading or shadowing. I will add a new layer and change my brush with a soft edge with a low opacity. I often use dark red for shadows because this is food and using black or gray would make the color dull and it won't appear delicious anymore. Subtle highlight um, here. Okay, so we'll add some subtle highlights and a few refinements with the sauce and another shade of green. Now I can stop here but I don't think I like how it looks because the sauce looks too thick and 
the highlight that I applied on top with airbrush made it too pale so that's a mistake and so it's not the end so I'll try to fix it as I mentioned before this is my first attempt in drawing a big salmon so I hope you guys understand second layer lower the opacity change the brush there I think it's better I can go with this so there you have it a big salmon i hope you learned something from this episode thank you for watching patiently if you enjoyed this video please hit like and if you want more of these please subscribe and you can also grab this image for free in my instagram account and you can also download the hd copy on my shutterstock link in the description below that's it thank you